Okay, so I have a question for you. What was your nightmare in 2050 when you were taking this course? Trees. Trees? Recursion because of the recursion, right? Because it is very difficult to debug um, the, recursion, the recursive execution. And this is what we are going to study here. <laughs> huh? The tree, no, we are not going to study trees. The basic concept, recursion. Trees are based on recursion. So you will get to know how the recurs recursion is implemented uh, underneath the architecture. Okay, so generally speaking, when the procedure is not calling itself, it is considered as leaf procedure, and the recursive procedure makes a clone of themselves. So recall the example which I started off with giving you an idea of when I was teaching you about recursion, I took this as an example. Now this is implemented in C format, okay? So what does this first line say? First of all, what does the first line say? Considering this is a C language format. It's a function, function f, uh, name is fact. It is taking an input n, which is of type integer. What does the first integer correspond to? INT. The return type. The output return will also be an integer type. So suppose that we have a function written up here. We are calling this function in fact three. Okay? With the we are calling this with the value argument three. And let's say seven is the next instruction that is going to be executed. Okay. So what happened when fact is called? It will call this copy again, I mean this function with the value n equals three, okay? Now when we call it again, uh, it, the value will keep on decreasing n equals two, n equals one, and n equals zero. Now first consider that whenever we call a function, what two important things we need to consider? The return address, where the instruction, the address of the next instruction, which is stored in x1 or ra, if you're talking in terms of rars. The first argument is stored in x10, okay? Again, the reference sheet is in front of you, x10 or a0. First look at the, um, look at the code here. So if you were to translate this C language code into assembly, it would look something like this. So first of all, what you're doing is you're loading the value t0 with a uh, value one because you need to compare n with, uh, with some constant value. So while using this BGE, A0, T0. So A0, what is A0? The input that you pass, okay? You're comparing it if it is less than or greater than T0. So if it is greater than T0, go to else, otherwise continue executing, okay? So if it is um, greater than, then what it will do, it will reduce the value of input n by minus one, and then after reducing its value by minus one, it will call itself again, okay? It is calling itself again. It will go back again to fact and start executing these instructions, and it will keep jumping back until this condition satisfy, okay? Let's try analyzing it here. So this is what I was saying. So initially, what will be the value of three? Where this value of three will be stored? Again, A0, which is X10. So initially assume that X10 contains value three, and X1 corresponds to the address of the next instruction. Let's say the address is seven, line number seven, okay? Corresponds to the next uh, instruction's address. So when this function is called, now currently N equals three. This condition does not satisfy, so it will call itself again. So when this function is called, what happens? A0 will be updated again. With what value this time? A0, which is X10, which is the argument register. What will be the value? That will be overwritten. So this three will be overwritten by a new value. What will be the value? Two, it will be two because N is subtracted and now three is overwritten by two. And here, why it is four? considering line numbers as an address of the next instruction, okay? So the next instruction, which is supposed to be executed, is four. 
because this instruction is not completed yet. We are calling this function, and then the remaining part has to be multiplied. So the next instruction is still four. Okay, so the four is overwritten uh, here in x one. Are you guys with me? Are you guys following? This needs to be understood, otherwise you won't be able to write recursive algorithms in Python. Oh, sorry, in RISC. Okay, again it will be called, and this time two will be overwritten with one, but this four will remain same, because again it is um, pointing to the instruction which is at uh, line number four. And again, this one will be overwritten zero. Now it starts returning back. So when it returns back, the next instruction to be executed. How is it determined which instruction has to be executed? Where the instruction address is stored? Where the next instruction's address is stored? In which register? It's a return address, right? Then return address is here. So it will return to line number four here with the value wh what it is returning, currently one, <coughs> okay? Because it is returning one, okay? Now after this one, it has to multiply and return it back again. Where it is going to return again? So the address is still four. So it will again return to this place and then this place, but with the same value, x10 is still returning one. This is an error here, it should not be returning one. And after the last one, last call, it will return it back again here and with the same value, x10 is still one. So did you think that um, it is executed correctly with the code that we have seen before? This one, this is exactly the same implementation which we have been discussing now. Why? So what, what do we need to do here? What is the problem? Can you identify the problem? Yep. The no, multiplication, I mean, we are assuming that the multiplication is performed, and after multiplication is performed, it is returning back to, I mean, where it is supposed to be returning. Why this function is currently not working? What is the problem? Are we getting the correct output? First ask yourself, are we getting the correct output? And every recursive return, it is returning one, one, one. Why it is happening? Why it is returning only one? What do I mean when I say it is returning? It means that the value in x10 or a0 is still one. It should be updated, but it is not being updated. So what, what problem do you see here? We actually did not preserve the value of a0, okay? Which means that we, instead of having one, so first of all it returned one, it should, this one in this call this one should be multiplied with the actual value of n, okay? So what, 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 what was the value of n in this function call? It was, what's that? It was n equals one, and here it was n equals two. Okay, so once, once uh, one is returned here, it should be multiplied by two. But this n equals two is not preserved. Where it is supposed to be preserved? In a0, okay? So the problem here is A0 and RA has to be preserved. The return address has to be preserved. Otherwise, we cannot get the correct output. When I'm saying preserved, means like it has to be placed in a memory and then so that we can get the correct value. Because every time when you make a recursive call, we do have only these two registers, okay? And these will keep on overwriting. Every recursive call will overwrite the value in RA and the value in A0, okay? So 